Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Have you always wanted to compost but been afraid of brown-green ratios or nervous about turning the compost pile? Or maybe you're in an urban area. Well, we have a method of composting that's probably perfect for you. The Bokashi method is a Japanese technique used with anaerobic fermentation. Traditional composting is an aerobic process, meaning it needs oxygen. That's why you need to turn the pile. Fermentation is an anaerobic process, meaning to keep the air away. Therefore, no pile turning. And the secret to this is EM, or effective microorganisms. This mix of lactic acid, yeast, and phototrophic bacteria was perfected by Dr. Tairuo Higa, a professor of horticulture at the University of the Ryukayas in Okinawa. This Bokashi composting kit has everything you need to start composting. It contains an airtight bucket with a spout for draining off the Bokashi tea and a bag of the Bokashi starter. You can order single bags of the starter as well. To start, just add a layer of about three inches of food scraps to the bucket. Make sure and chop up any large pieces before adding. With Bokashi composting, you can even add meat, cheese, and small bones. Continue layering and adding the starter. Sprinkle the top layer with starter and stir to coat the food. Be generous with the starter if you're composting tough foods like meat, bones, and coffee grounds. Normally you would use a third of a bag for each full bucket. Place a plate or some other flat object on top to make sure that air doesn't get to the fermenting scraps. Then put the lid on tightly. Make sure it's sealed. Every few days, open the spout and drain off the rich Bokashi tea. Dilute this at a rate of one tablespoon to one gallon of water and use on your house plants and in the garden. Repeat this process until your bucket is full and then set it aside for about two weeks to further ferment. I like having two buckets going at one time so that I don't have to stop and wait. Don't add water because excessive liquid can make the mix rot. Also, you want to keep your bucket out of the sun. When the bucket is ready, the food won't really look that different, but it will have a sweet and sour pickled aroma and maybe some white growth on the top. These are all good signs. If it smells foul, something went wrong, and you're going to have to either add more starter or throw it out and start all over. This one smells good. After the two weeks, dig a 12-inch trench, drain off the tea, then bury the bokashi. If you live in a rural area, you might have to bury it a little bit deeper. Wash the bucket thoroughly, and then you're ready to repeat the process. After two weeks, the bokashi will be broken down even farther, and then you can plant whatever plants you'd like right on top. If you're growing in containers, you can use your bokashi by filling a container a third of the way with potting soil. Fill it another third with bokashi. Mix them together thoroughly and top with a final third of potting soil. Cover with plastic to encourage an anaerobic environment. Wait two weeks and then plant. You can also add your bokashi to your regular aerobic compost pile. For more information, check out the book Bokashi Composting and Grow Organic for Life.